trip around the Tokyo Expressway counterclockwise or reverse direction, I swapped into a Benz OSLS. Try something different. Again, we got that 600 PP limitation because it's touring car PP competition. And, you know, we got to try something different. And it looks pretty good. Also, again, basically stock, just jumped in and went. I don't think I made any changes to anything because this car just fit in like 599 PP, like off the shelf. Here we go. It's uh, five laps, four or five laps. At any rate, this car is pretty good. You know, this course has given me problems because it's it's a bit tricky, and maybe just a learning curve. But I think I got a better grip on it now. I've tried you know a couple of different cars because I had to for the different licenses, but for now. Oh, hit the wall. A little too hot. I think that's that's one of my weaknesses. I go into the corners too hot. But that's usually just on the fast lap because I'm getting to know the car, the handling limitations. And even though it's a stock suspension, the car, you know, it's wide. It's long, so it's... I don't want to say easy to drive, but it's it's real base. I think helps a lot. Also, that V8, you know, there is no replacement for displacement. Naturally aspirated, and it was top of the line Benz when it came out, so it's no slouch. Tokyo Expressway has a lot of turns there's lefts there's rights there's decreasing and increasing radii turns you, it's a mix that you know will keep you on your toes i started at the back i think 14th out of 16 cars as usual you got to start at the back and work your way through the field and here is the field got a uh, P car and an Acura NSX. I don't own an Acura NSX. I want to get one. I want to get an old one uh, and a new one. I like them both. It wasn't too much of a challenge getting past those, but here comes our old friend the GTR and RX7 FD3 RS in front of that. I can't tell what's for there. Oh, there's a there's a Viper up there. So I, I like this section, but because there's traffic and you can see with rubbing elbows getting shoved around you can not go through full throttle but you don't necessarily need to use a brake on that last uh, chicane but this right turn sweeper it's a blind turn but you know you can go 50% throttle at least 75% if you're brave this tunnel is a tricky little tunnel you saw in the previous lap I smacked the wall right about here and this is the bike so this tunnel section, tap, 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 boom. Yeah, and I also didn't know that the SLS had an active wing in the back. So that was a cool find. Again, the, real, real, the realism that they put into this game I appreciate it. I'm sure other people who play the game appreciate it too. That's done. Bye. Another big V8. This is a little tricky little section here. But it's cool. Is that a Supra? Is that an R8? Is that a Impreza?
this turn to go far left before turning in and it's a double apex before we go around that other cool switchback like right left and it unwinds into this nice straight where you can pretty much get on the throttle and let it rip there's usually at least for me the seems like there's always a car in front when I come out of that little section but the AI is not being too difficult and one of the things about the AI is that the AI typically lunges for the apex so if you know where the apex is when you're going into that turn you want to go to the outside because uh, I hit the wall again so that's killed a lot of time two wall slaps slight bend and then a straight and then we get this right hander coming in here which is I want not a u-turn but it's a 180 you go all the way around and straighten out so that's another one where for this car at least start at the far left and then hit the apex so that you hug the apex tighter and can get a better run out of that turn so here we go yep see it goes for the apex and then it comes out and the AI goes for the apex again but this is a tight little section so it's hard to pass on the outside and yeah another left apex and it's going to be a straight after this and then you could kind of uh, get bumped maybe but eventually you get by kind of nice hugging the turns in this car or pretty much any car that handles it fairly flat when you're going around it. a turn to hug that the inside of the turn around the apex and out even if it's a blind turn that's cool same here hug the apex it's a double apex car in front let them stay in front for a bit because otherwise we're going to be making contact that new Supra we tap tap and go might not be getting a good sportsmanship reward for this race but hey not my fault <laughs> they're good through the tunnel this time Stop the audio again. Check pause the audio. stock tires and it's a good time left right no traffic in front double apex hug that last part and out and very little break just modulate the throttle and step on it and go
I have to do a tour of my garage because I have a couple of other Benzes in there. Actually, I have about 70 some odd cars from all the tests. And I think I've just completed one mission so far. I need to get on the missions. We're on a mission from God. That's a Blues Brothers reference, in case you were wondering. This should be the final lap, and all dialed in. Kind of wish there was one more lap because it's just been an open lap. There's a big gap from me to the leader. I'm actually in second place right now, and the leader is out of sight. Can't even see him. So over five seconds, probably closer to 10 seconds away. Be pretty much impossible to catch him in one lap, maybe two, be able to do it. That's it. It was a good run. 